Welcome to the Zero Down software video tutorials prepared by Zero Nines Technology. This video will demonstrate how Zero Down software business continuity can be used to implement high availability for applications running in a Microsoft Azure Stack environment. The example we have chosen for this demo is a web-based personal health records application. The application has been deployed to two disparate Azure Stack stamps on the Azure Stack platform. Our instance running in Azure Stack Stamp 1 will be addressed through the IP address ending in .54, and the instance running on Azure Stack Stamp 2 will be addressed through IP address ending in .32. Implementing Zero Down software simply involves creating two direct portals into the application. Our primary host, Azure Stack Stamp 1, is designated as Node 1, with the IP address ending in .54, and our secondary host, Azure Stack Stamp 2, designated as Node 2, with the IP address ending in .32. Zero Down Software is the data transaction engine, maintaining business continuity through these two different locations, in Stamp 1 and in Stamp 2. To consider a real-world example, let's say the user of the application fell and needed to get an X-ray of their elbow. They would then enter a transaction in their personal health records application. From the Zero Down Software console, we can see that the transaction is immediately replicated in Stamp 1 and Stamp 2 simultaneously. Zero Down Software maintains all transaction replication between both instances, Active Active Data Processing in both Azure Stack stamps at all times. What if one of the Azure Stack stamps were to go down for any reason? Let's demonstrate by taking the primary site offline. In this case, I'll stop the application running in Stamp 1. As the connection is broken, the users never see the outage and still maintain access to their application through Zero Down software. As long as Stamp 2 is up and running, our users will not experience downtime. As you can see, our application in Azure Stamp 1 is down, and users still have full access to the application data, regardless of their location. Let's add a new contact. Thanks to Zero Down software, you can see that the new contact is visible through Azure Stamp 2, while our instance in Azure Stamp 1 is still down. Let's now add another transaction, a healthcare provider. You can see that transaction is added to our active application in Azure Stamp 2. When our instance in Azure Stamp 1 is back up and running, we can perform validation testing. Our virtual machine has restarted. The standard procedure is to log into your application and perform user acceptability testing and validate that the system and application are running properly. Now that we're validated, Zero Down software engages with the application. Any transactions that occurred while the server was down and during the startup procedure will be resynchronized once we reconnected Zero Down software and the application in Stack 1. At this point, press Allow to engage the connectivity. Press Save. And once that connection is made between Zero Down software, you'll see that the transactions have resynchronized, and both instances are mirroring the same transactions. That concludes our demonstration on keeping your applications up and running in a Microsoft Azure Stack environment with Zero Down software business continuity. Congratulations, you are now free to roam about the clouds. For more information, please visit us at zerodownsoftware.com.